Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well. So what we will do now is we will set up Axios for our project. So if we go to our lib folder right here that we created, just create a new file and just call it axios.js. All right, so for anyone that's new, so if we go to our package.json right here, we installed Axios and the current version that I'm using is 0.26.1. Now, Axios just allows us to make a synchronous HTTP request to our API that we created. Now, if for a more technical term, Axios is a promise-based library to make a synchronous JavaScript HTTP request. All right, so let's just close this off. So in our axios.json file right here, all we have to do is let's import axios. So import axios. So as you can see, I'm just going to capitalize this. Right. The next thing is let's create a constant and call this one axios. And we're going to equal that to the axios, the one that we just imported right there, dot create. Right. And then we're just going to export default. And all right, so there's a couple of things we need to add in here. The first one is the base URL. So that's the first one. And the base URL we're going to set to HTTP localhost 8000. All right, but before I do that, I'm just going to actually set it as an environment variable. Now, in here, in next year, is to make any variable public. All we have to do is we have to add the next public like this. And I'm just going to set it backend URL. And I'm going to set that to HTTP localhost 8000. Okay, so that's our variable all done. So in here, all we have to do now to access it, we just do process.env. Let me just actually copy this part right here. So just make sure I don't do any misspell it. All right, so now we access that right there. The next thing we need to do is we need to add the headers. So let's just quickly add the headers. All right, so the, it needs to be an object. The first one is going to be X twisted with, and we want to set that to XML HTTP request. All right, so in the last part that we need to add in here is with credentials, and we just want to set that to true. So now our Axios is all set up. Now, the thing that I want to do now is we need to go to our Laravel app that we created where we created our API and just run the service with PHP Artisan Serve. Let's quickly open our Laravel project. All right, so I got my Laravel project open. So all we have to do is just open up your terminal in order to serve it. All we have to do is PHP artisan serve okay and that will serve it to our local host 8000 all right so as you can see starting laravel development server on local host 8000 okay awesome stuff all right so as you can see we got local host 8000 right here it's a variable we process it right there so now our axios is all set up Right, so the next episode, what we will deal with is we're going to create our auth hook that we need to kind of sort out our login register and our lockup. All right, so thank you guys for watching. Do all the YouTube stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.